Uh, okay. Uh, so yeah. Uh, we're back here. We're pulling for Isaria, obviously. Um, I don't think we're going to we're going to um, get a lot of copies of the artifact, but at hopefully at least one. So that's probably what I'm gonna keep pulling for. Um, unlike with Rem, I kind of you know liked Rem, so I wanted to get more copies of her. And then crit chances. Uh, Crit chance isn't necessarily better as an imprint than effectiveness, especially for a unit like Isaria, who makes excellent use of effectiveness. I mean, you know, it's her job. Um, but it's a little easier because the crit chance you get from the uh, the crit chance you get from the um, the imprint. There's a cap, right? So if because like the maximum crit chance is 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 100 the fact that she has built in like 18 percent crit chance is you know you have 18 percent towards the cap i don't you know i, don't, I think it's 18 percent i'm not entirely totally sure anyway but yeah so it's 18 percent towards the cap or whatever however much percentage right um but with isaria seeing as effectiveness doesn't have a cap and you know you just want to get it as high as possible uh her getting 27 percent is like if it's 30 if we could just pretend it's 30 percent that like let's pretend the cap of effectiveness is around 300 because that's kind of like the highest you can reach on most units like people who have end like super mega end game you know, legend gear effectiveness units have 300 about 300 so comparing her effectiveness which you know if we boost it up to 30 and we we, we place a theoretical cap of effectiveness at 300 she's only got 10 percent with a max imprint right uh, so, you know, getting a few merges on her to me, like, isn't as big a deal. Uh, whereas, you know, that 18% is almost double what this is. Right. So that, that, that that's kind of, you know, you know, just, just kind of a mathematical, like for those of you who want to pull, realize that like the 27%, because 300 is so much a bigger number, um, that 27% is kind of like a dip in the ocean, right? Not, not exactly. It's still, it's still pretty decent. Like I said, 10% isn't too bad. Uh, but the fact that the crit chance, like, it does have a cap and you can reach it pretty easily and it helps you reach it um, is very important. So that's kind of why I, I wanted that there. So uh, I guess going forward, we're, we're taking a look at this. Um, the other thing, like I said, so hopefully we get at least one of these so we can kind of, like, level it up over time. Uh, uh, use, uh, what's it called? Use our our uh, powder knowledge, the, the bottle of knowledge on it. Um, unfortunately, I it's going to be delayed a little bit because I do need one more bottle of knowledge to get my second my second max limit broken um, Draco plate. Uh, so this is going to kind of have to wait a little bit. Um, the other problem I kind of have with this artifact is it's really only for her. Uh, now you can I mean you can use it on other people, and, and we talked about this in the uh, in the video, but really it's only useful on her. Like she's going to make the most use out of it. So like an artifact that only goes good on the on one unit isn't uh the biggest deal and she's not like incomplete without it it's just she's not going to be as good as you want her to be uh with it uh without it so yeah uh and then we also have some galaxy uh, uh whatever so we're gonna pull some moonlight hopefully we get something i just recently got moonlight haste which is pretty cool so uh yeah let's just uh let's just get in here hopefully we get her um i'm going to pull until i get the artifact Obviously, we want we want her and the artifact. So as soon as the, as soon as we get one of each, we're we're out. Um, so I have three hundred here, and so I don't have my emulator on. I don't have uh, Epic Seven on my phone anymore. I have it uh, on my emulator only because I just kind of leave it up to grind uh, like another tab or something. Uh, <laughs> but uh, so and then I was trying to. I only had like eighty bookmarks that we just got from like events and stuff like that. Uh, and I and I just went to go refresh the the secret shop, and I gotta tell you, like trying to do that with your mouse, uh, I felt like I was getting arthritis. <laughs> so I'm just gonna like, or carpal tunnel or whatever. Um, so I'm just gonna, you know, I made it up to 300, which is all right, and then we're just gonna use packs for the rest of them, and then we got quite a bit of uh, mystic summons. So that's pretty cool too. Um, so yeah, let's just get in here. Uh, probably should be doing 10 at a time, just for the sake of uh, speed. So I think we're we're probably gonna do that, especially because like. There's no issue if we don't, if we like, you know, 
if we get double or something like that, right? So it's like if I get two waste areas, it's like well there you go, that's good. Or if I get two of the the artifacts, you know, who's gonna, I'm not gonna complain. Uh, is this the new? Do I have her? Yeah, I already had her. So, ooh, come on. Aw. Um, I'm kind of like most end game players, right? Like, four stars are all kind of worthless to us now at this point. Um. Akadis. Actually, Akadis is one of the ones I, I could use another copy of. So let's see if we can uh, get lucky under under 300 bookmarks and get her. Clarissa. Clarissa makes me laugh a little bit because she kind of reminds me of... Um, she, like, she has the same chain ball thing and, like, the kind of kind of the hair. Like, obviously, she looks... I mean, she's, she's kind of nunnish and, and rem... Uh, it is more of a maid, but they do kind of, you know, I get the same similar vibes from them. Uh, and they both have like very similar kits, right? Like, so she has a 50% defense break on S1, and they both have an AoE S3. Like, it's just weird. Like, she's just like a, uh, Rem is just like a, a big old premium version of, of, of her. A steadfast gatekeeper, I still don't know who to use that on exactly. Uh, there's just too many good artifacts. Like, um, what, like Elbris works great on a lot of offensive ones. Uh, obviously the uh, what's the other one? Like Aureus is great for defense, and then you know if they can't run Aureus because they don't have a high enough health health pool. Oh, I gotta click through that actually. If they can't run Aureus because they don't have a high enough health pool, um, like because even if I summon her, I'm just gonna keep going after her just to try to get the artifact. So that's why doing temples isn't the the worst thing in the world. Um, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, it's just because there's so many like good artifacts out there that it's kind of hard to be like, oh, I'm going to use Steadfast Gatekeeper and only be good against AoE attacks. Especially, like, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but like, I feel like the meta has kind of like moved away from AoE attacks. Now, obviously, Rem is, is a big deal. Um, uh, let's go buy some, some of these. Obviously, Rem is a big deal. Let's, uh, let's do that again. We're going to do these. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to burn my, my... Wow, that was nothing. Um, and I just realized I did not fill my <laughs> my inventories. Uh, I am going to pause this really quickly and be right back. Uh, hopefully we're, we're back. And I was about to summon <laughs> the Covenant there. Uh, so we filled up our inventory, so that's good. Um, how much do we have? We have 46... We'll, we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll burn these last so we can start getting the packs and then just like um, cause I messed up. So I, the first, at the, the first one I should have done should have been a ten pull, but then I, I pulled one. So now let's just get these nine out of the way and then go back to doing ten pulls. Um, so obviously I have enough sky stones to get her. Um, it's not that big a deal. Uh, the other, the only, the only kind of issue right now that I'm facing is like, should I pull for closer Charles, or closet Charles? Um, Oh, there she is, right? So, like I said, we're going to pull for the artifact. Hopefully, we can get another one of her on the way. Ever since we arrived, everyone's been a little too excited. We don't have time to mess around. Uh, so, yeah, like, I don't really, like... I think she's fine. I feel like maybe in the Japanese version, she's supposed to sound, um, I don't know, like, not as bad. Like, uh, but she, I don't know, just like in the English voice acting, like she just sounds very whiny and kind of annoying. A lot of, like a lot of her skill, um, whatever she says during her skills kind of sound like irritating uh, to hear. But I don't know. Like I said, I usually play this game muted or um, with the Japanese voice pack. So yeah, I don't, like I said, it's not that big a deal to me. Um, uh, yeah, I got kind of cut off there. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I mean, like her her demeanor isn't exactly very like... Not too interested in it. Um, so hopefully we get enough. Well, let's find out. If we get another one, this will be hilarious. Oh wait, I can't click through this, so I don't have this. There's no way it's the artifact. Oh, okay, that'd be hilarious. Like just like the one right after I got the artifact. Um, four star, uh, more Taga Hells. I know a lot of people need Taga Hells, which makes me. I'm like, I just feel kind of bad for them because I have like, I'm drowning in Taga Hells. Like, for those of you who've seen the uh, the SpongeBob meme. Drown a minute. Um, I will say it, it is a it is a huge feels bad. Um, burning 
crystal for just like uh, for just uh, summon packs like this. Because obviously, like like you know, as we all know, it's not as optimal uh, for one because you're not you're gonna get less bookmarks. Period. But you're also missing out, and you know we can always use more Angelicas given the new the new Angelica. Um. So we get here. More steadfast gatekeepers. I forgot to take that thing off, like so I can just skip the four stars. I wish we got to take it off because every so often I have to like uninstall and reinstall. Um, what's it called on here? Which is kind of annoying. Bye. Right, let's do a ten pull here. Um, it'll be really funny if we do get a triple S Isaria before we reach the uh, before we end up getting the artifact. I mean, <laughs> I, obviously you can't complain too much, but it, it's still going to be pretty irritating. And I guess I could co-change it now, but I just can't be asked. Um, but like I said, it, it's sad to me to see people like, oh, I need a bottle of knowledge or whatever, or, or target health tomes, and I'm like, I, I, I could max limit break like six of them, and I don't even use them. Like, I... There's only oh wow that was, that was a horrible uh, out outcome there. I don't even use them. The only one who uses them is uh, who uses one. Well, the only two units I have. Wow, this is even worse. Uh, so we're actually uh, draining our Skystone here pretty pretty handily, pretty mightily. Um, our uh, Carrot and Spectre Tenebria and my Spectre Tenebria isn't built right now because she's not. I don't have the gear to like make her worth being built. Um, it's just on other units or whatever and second of all um, as, soon as, as soon as we hit the second Iceria, I'm just gonna I guess I'm just gonna not have the artifact I'm not to figure out what to put on her <laughs> um, Because this really there's no point which I, I'm not so upset I know some people would probably be really upset about not getting it, but I'm not so upset because for basically every uh, every single um, Like limited unit that's come out. I've gotten plenty of copies of the limited artifact like before I got the unit, and you know, those of you who've seen the videos, you know, you, you, you can obviously tell, you can see from that, um, that I have gotten you know a lot of the the artifacts before I did get the the unit. So, to a large degree, I'm not too upset about it, um, but it, it is gonna it is gonna, it is gonna suck to hit that. Um, Unfortunately, I'm not like most people. I don't have like a bunch of uh, Iceria copies laying around, which that kind of sucks. Because I only have one Iceria right now. Uh, we we got we've been getting. I feel like we've been getting a lot of the Kades here. Um, so since we're, I'm at. Oh man, this is this is this is scary because um, I've actually dipped below about like twelve thousand, which is the pity. Which is what you need to pity a unit if you're just gonna pull straight up like packs the way I'm doing now um, hopefully I can I mean I'll probably recoup that given the fact that like the the new story is out and um, just like in general and there we go so we got her again before pity which is pretty good um, so there's no you know I can't complain there and I went too into the next pity so uh, we've drained quite a bit of skystone and I'm not really comfortable uh, draining more so we're gonna leave that as it as it is so I guess we're gonna go without the artifact oh actually we're not gonna go right because I can just get one from the uh, over here okay so I guess there's no reason to fret right though there is a little reason to fret because I didn't get any five star artifacts right that they were all just four stars that's kind of sad if, if we're being if I'm being totally honest oh uh, yeah so th thankfully we have this so I'm probably just gonna drop this and whatever so <laughs> Um, I guess I look like a fool now because I forgot this existed. Um, cause I thought like I wasn't going to get it. I was just like, oh yeah, I'm done. And then like, as soon as I, I got the second Iceria, I was like, so we spent a lot to get Iceria one imprint, uh, which again, as I was saying, <laughs> was not even that, uh, was not valuable <laughs> to go that far. Uh, but it's fine. I mean, I'm sure Iceria is just going to be, uh, as broken as like carrot or something equally as absurd. Um, so I guess for anyone who, who's newer, like you never want to really, you want to try to avoid getting rid of your, your, your four stars, these three stars, like as long as you have two, like I have two copies of all these three stars, max limit broken. And a lot of cases, 
Like I've never used them, right? No one, you, no one, ever, you've, no one's ever spoken about Aqua Rose, but I still have them anyway. Two copies, max limit broken, um, and I just have them there just in case they need to be. They're gonna get buffed at some point or something like that. Uh, I try to keep four star artifacts as well in case they get buffed, but a lot of times four star artifacts are are rarely buffed. Uh, it's usually the five star ones. Um, so you know, it's it's up to you, but I get kind of like paranoid that like it's gonna get buffed and and you know I don't have it anymore. Uh, so, you know, for anyone who's, like, wondering how, why I'm doing what I'm doing here is four stars, I usually try, I usually try to keep them. They don't, they don't, they don't always not get buffed. I mean, some of them got buffed. I think, yeah, I think this got buffed. It used to be two souls. Now it's three. But <laughs> as you can see, no one's still using this and it doesn't really matter. Um, so we have 30 here. How much do we have? Uh, let's see. I'll probably I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna have enough to to pity or I'm gonna have enough to get enough powder to go get that because then let's go take a look over here. So two fifteen. Let's go come over here. Uh, we're gonna go to the lobby because this, now there's a bunch of artifacts in my in my um... yeah whatever piss off a bunch of artifacts in here. Uh, so as you can see, both my areas are right there. My uh, Amelia is still in here because uh, obviously. I haven't had time to build her and then you can see there's still a lot of like artifacts in here that I, like all these are not useful to me right now like there's none of these that i need except this wind rider looks pretty interesting on charles on closet charles but i don't have closet charles and i'm not even sure i'm going to pull on him so you know take that as you will uh so we can just get rid of all this stuff here Ooh, i don't want to get rid of that even though I think at this point I have enough, like, I, have, I think I have two max limit broken versions of these, so I could probably get rid of uh, some of them. Because I do get rid of four star artifacts. Like, I've gotten rid of a lot of, like, Elia's knife, because I already have two of them maxed. Like, what am I going to do with ten uh, Strax gauntlets? <laughs> um, yeah, so it's always important to, to weigh up, like, your own um, where you are. I mean, I'm probably not going to get rid of these. Uh, I do need more of these. Uh, again, like here, here's a good example of one that could get buffed. Like, as health decreases, attack and speed increase up to twenty five percent. I think at max, it's what like fifty percent. Um, I think it's all right, but it's not really that good. But anyway, the point being that like these could get buffed because this is this looks like a, this looks like like if you if you did this right, like this looks like it'd be pretty strong. I think, but as it is now, it's really it's really bad. Um. But yeah, so let's get rid of these. So I'm at what? Two thirty one? I guess we I guess we can get rid of some of I have a lot of bottles of knowledge too. Uh do I need another hell cutter? I feel like I do. That that one's still kinda of useless. We'll get rid of this one. Eight. How much do I have again? Eight and we'll get rid of two. Yeah, there we go. So we're at sixteen and we'll have uh two forty and I'll go get the um artifact. So we have the artifact, and we have a we have a plus one. We have a plus one, uh, Iseria, because I'm, I'm I'm an idiot. That 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 that's hilarious. Uh, I'm not so bummed out about it, um, because at least we're we're at 10k, and it's like what? After like three weeks, I'll be back at um, pity again. And one of the things that have been one of the problems has been that like there hasn't been any. Uh, Anything to summon recently. Now I should be saving these. Um, where's the powder? I should be saving these uh, gold. These these uh, summons. So we have that. I should be saving these moonlight summons for when um, Angelica gets added to the pool because I'm not gonna pull. Can we see here? Does it show us? Yeah, it doesn't show. Us. So the next the next rotation is gonna be uh, Spez and Sinful and or, or Angelica Angelica. Um. And I'm not going to pull on there because I already have Spez, and I'm not going to pull for the 4-star because I rarely get the 4-stars anyway, right? Like, I don't remember the last time I got a 4-star uh, out of this. So I either get the 5-star or I don't get anything, and then that goes to my pity next time. Uh, so that, that's that's important to realize. Um, so yeah, I'm just like, like I said, it's not that big a deal. Uh, like, it's important to realize to a lot of people, like a lot of the YouTubers are like, oh, I'm going to pull this, I'm going to save all these for when she comes out and they're going to pull, and then they don't get it. It's like... It's not that big a deal because you're gonna, you know, over time you're gonna get more moonlight summons. Like, 
you know, you shouldn't stress too much about it. Oh, let's see if we get a five star on screen here. I could kind of use a dupe for the uh, the gold, the galaxy coins. So four star. What do I need? I already have like several triple S Shuri's. Wow, two shinies. That that's pretty lucky considering like the last like twenty of these I've had in a row have not like there's no shiny whatsoever. Um, let's see if we get anything interesting. And there's another Shadow Rose. Um, so that's fine. Um, I've already got tons of Shadow Roses. <laughs> uh, I think Shadow. I think I could actually max imprint Shadow Rose with only Shadow Roses, but I don't know where all of them are, and I think I've already um, imprinted them on different ones. Um, so yeah, that's it for today. Um, the other thing, the last thing I wanted to say was, um. There's probably going to be a video coming out going over the uh, changes, like some of the buff, the the the, the balance patch that we got. Uh, I kind of was, well, I'm kind of 50-50 on it just because, like, for those of you who watch Dr. Squirrel, uh, I went to go see his video because I was just like, ah, well, I'm taking forever to make mine, so I'm, I'm just going to go watch his video. He basically said literally everything I was going to say in that video. Um, yeah, like, Ravi, Ravi's biggest problem is you just ignore her. Uh, a Ravi, I mean, you just ignore her, and these buffs don't don't address that. They just make it so that if you accidentally hit her, or when the time comes, because you can't just ignore her forever, because she's just like sitting there, uh, and then you get rid of three other units, and it's only her. Basically, what these what these buffs do is that like if you are ignoring her, and then the the time comes where you don't, where you can't ignore her, it makes her stronger in those situations. But otherwise, you can just like I said, you can just ignore her, and she's not very good on defense anymore. Because for one, Watcher Shuri exists, and then for two. Uh, what, what's her name? Uh, the nuke lady. LQC exists, right? So that's another thing that's important to realize. Um, the, the Dominio buffs, who cares? Um, I'm trying to remember who else got buffed. Uh, Merciless Gotten got buffed, but I'm not sure that's gonna be that good. Uh, the artifact that comes with Selene... The artifact that comes with her, that looks pretty good, actually, because... Uh, someone does some non-attack skill, and if you have like an immunity, uh, an immunity, you know, unit or something, they just get boosted forward, um, twenty-four percent. That's no joke with the attack buff. Uh, so it makes her stronger, but like, there's probably situations like, it, like, take if you wanna, if you want, um, what's his name, Violet, maybe the 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 remnant Violet or regular Violet, one of them. If you want them to be kind of like counter non-attack skills right because a lot of times if they get hit with a non-attack skill violence you're running them at like 250 speed already 240 a lot of people are running on speed gear again uh like 240 250 with a 24% boost if they're running uh what's her name like flan or they're running uh what's that other one uh now you know angelic angelica well you can just go especially especially violet regular violet right because if, if, if they're running like uh, Flan, or they're running um, Angelica, the new one. We're just gonna call her New Angelica, right? They're running New Angelica, like, and I, I don't mean new as an N-E-W, I mean new as an N-U, the little, like, U with the, the little mu sign or whatever. Anyway, uh, New Angelica. So, if they do those, like, take Violet, for example, if you put him on that artifact, he's going to get an attack buff, boost himself forward, he's, oh, actually, well, he's silenced, so that's not gonna work, never mind. I was just thinking, because she puts two buffs on you, debuffs on you, um, and he can't eat his apple, so he's kind of screwed at that point, but otherwise it's fine. But, like, the debuff, the buff lock isn't that big a deal on him, uh, because he just he just eats the apple and he cleanses it, and all you're getting is the attack buff anyway, so it's not like, you know, it's, it's kind of, it's decently whatever. But at least against Flan, that's a pretty good plan, right? So if you have your regular Violet, he gets boosted forward... Uh, cuts everyone else because she's there to be a CR push or like a, a first turn opener So she she like puts the debuffs on everyone and, and she doesn't miss on violet because uh, She doesn't hit him uh, But you did not uh, you did a non-attack skill So he gets his attack buff and then he gets pushed forward He gets to eat his apple clear those two buff the two debuffs off of himself and then just kill somebody right so specifically probably her uh, You know the rest of your team is probably gonna get screwed over right, but uh you know, that's important to realize. Um, the Luna buffs are as inconsequential as ever. Um, 
they need to. I don't know. I don't know what they need to do with Luna. What I what I had said was that what they need to do with Luna is just give her all four of those buffs, because she has crit resistance. Uh, they gave her crit resistance, I think. No, she has crit resistance, uh, crit chance, attack, and uh, defense. What they need to do is just give all four of them to her, no matter what the health percentage is. And people are like, oh, you know, she's gonna be. Even then, she's not gonna be that strong. She's just kind of gonna be mediocre. Like um, now. If you did what I just said with the buffs she's getting now, maybe she'll be really strong, um, like super strong. Um, but I still doubt that. But I was just saying, kind of replace what you gave her and give her like something like that, right? Uh, but yeah, the, the only the only takeaway from that was that more. And it's funny because like, if for those of you who saw the mango video, like there is no like super standout like, there's no carrot change, right? There's no like oh carrot like, there's no like epic you know adjustment that's like oh finally this character is going to be in the meta and and you're gonna to have to like build for them and, and watch out for them not nothing like that really happened um the only one that 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 is the 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 i feel the high the winner of that patch is is mort and he's just kind of like finally decent right because now you can run your mort on a speed gear and i guess if uh, for the for front of it um we can go take a look at my mort because I, I already built him like I built him before the patch they said anything, right? Before there was a uh, update video or the patch preview. And I built him on a counter set and I tried to get him as fast as possible. I had 169 speed, 18,000 HP, um, some decent crit damage and whatnot. So I had all that stuff ready, right? On a counter set and then I had him on Elbrus so he could just like hit people all the time. And that was my idea. I was like, oh, the only really way to make more kind of, de you know, decently useful is to put him on a counter set with the Elbrus so he can just kind of like do stuff when it's not his turn. Uh, and then literally the patch came out and now it's like, oh yeah, he has, um, we put counter chance, counter chance, counter chance in his, uh, <laughs> in his S2. So like not only, not only is it counter chance, be counter set, uh, but counter set gives you 20% and his thing gives you 30, which is insane. Um, not only that, but I can act, like I got this on him because I wanted him to heal more off the the damage you get off of this, and basically you kind of want him to like take more turns to cycle, um, and do more and like just hit people with this more for the injuries and whatnot. Uh, but then even that becomes irrelevant because you, you don't have to run this S three damage boost anymore because they just threw that into his S three normally uh, in the patch itself, right? So. I don't know, it's just, it's hilarious to me, the, the levels of, like, what's going on <laughs> with this this Mort patch. Like, it, he basically did everything, like, like I said, I, I pulled this, and I was like, oh, I want this one. So I put it on him, um, and then, like, I had him on counter set. And the two things I gave him to help him succeed, Smilegate just gave them to him anyway. So now, what you can do is run him on speed set, be, uh, he's not going to be first turn cutting anybody, but he's going to be, you want him to be fast, because... His rage, where is it? His enrage gives him 10% speed, and then he also gives himself speed buff with this. So that's a 40% speed boost on top of running a speed set. Like it's like it's insanity. Like he's gonna be, he's not gonna be first turn contesting, but you can get, like after all these buffs, like speed buff and the um, the rage, he's gonna be like a 280 speed. Like at least mine is. I've calculated it out to be like he's gonna be like 280 speed once all those buffs are said and done for. And this is like a really bad mort. Like as you can see here, these stats are kind of garbage. You could easily imagine some better morts out there, like hitting with like you know th the same stats with like more speed. Like if you hit 220, 240, I, I could get him to 240 with Alencia's gear, but uh, I don't want to do that because uh, Alencia is better, I think, still. But anyway, the point being, you could get him on on 240 speed with Alencia's gear, uh, and there you go. Now you're probably you know once he gets his buffs up, he's probably hitting somewhere like 310 speed easily, maybe 320, and he's just gonna be lapping you and slamming you with the S3 constantly, making it harder to kill him. Refreshing this so that he can keep putting this up, keeping this up on everyone, um, and constantly defense breaking people. And then since like the soul burn is on here, now he can do the same thing Rem does, where he hits someone for 100% irresistible. Uh, defense break right it's like it's insanity now ram obviously does two hits so like that that's kind of what where her usefulness comes from uh but yeah this is this is insane like we're we're uh it'll be it'll be a lot of fun but again mort isn't very that isn't very good uh there's too many fire units in the meta right now and you can just kind of do a lot of damage to him like like 
uh, these stats are by no means tanky. Now, maybe someone, you know, with better, probably with better gear, probably could hit something like 13k defense, maybe 14k. Um, like 250 crit damage, you can drop the crit damage a little, 220 speed, uh, and maybe like 20,000 HP, and, and that'd be pretty tanky. But, like, for me, anything under like 22k HP just dies, like, is gonna die really fast. So, um, we'll, we'll have to see how he works. Uh, yeah, so. Hopefully, hopefully he turns out decent. Uh, I I think he's gonna be a lot of if if he's not a high tier meta unit, I think he's gonna be a lot of fun just because like he's he has built like I said built in counter set heal on the S three um, plus like just annoying everyone by constantly peppering them with the defense break. The the only difference is uh, he's his defense break is on the S one right and it's only a uh, one target and it's like well I mean why not just use someone like SSB who you can build tanky because her HP is decent, and then she's also got, like, this passive, right? Um, and she also penetrates defense because of Rengar's, and she also life steals and heals every time they do that. And then defense breaks everyone constantly anyway. Like, right? So, I'm not saying she's a replacement to him, I'm just saying, like, the, the fact that he's just running around hitting people one at a time, trying to defense break them, isn't really that optimal. Um, and he's only really good against... Like, it's gonna make him really great against, like, AoE stuff, but, again... There, there's not a whole lot of AOE running around these days. Um, but he's going to be a decent counter. I think he's going to be another counter for um, for Rem. Though you can't defense break her because of the... Uh, the, the What's it called? This demon mode here. So Stuff to consider. In any case, uh, like I said, the next video... Uh, oh, one last thing uh, for any of you who watch this. Like, if you if you're if you made it this far, it's because uh, you probably watch my videos. And if you watch my videos, uh, you'll notice something I had said. Uh, where are we? Uh, let's look at her. Uh, can we see? Can we just see her? Okay. I said this during her reveal trailer that the thirty percent it was twenty on here, and then you boosted up to thirty. I was like, this thirty percent is lame. It's lame as all hell. Like, I don't know. Who was in charge of this, or who was like, let's give her just thirty percent? But that was lame. That was stupid. Um, and I was like, if you're gonna have a unit like this, who's you, you just gonna take your quit? We're gonna take your crit away. If you're gonna have that kind of unit, this had to have been like fifty percent or something like that, like forty, fifty percent. And I said in the video, fifty percent, and they boosted it up to that. So I don't know. I just, I just want to say, like, I'm a freaking genius, right? Like, I'm just the greatest that's ever been. Um, I forgot. They 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 put they buffed something else. I forgot what they they patched something else here. So like I think her bombs she can detonate them for more damage or something like that. Um, but yeah, basically that's that, that's all I wanted to say was uh, those of you who watch my videos, uh, hopefully you you were like yeah I you know he said that and I was like yeah no it's, it's what I said bro like we need fifty percent and then was, I, I'm just a genius right first I'm, I'm like two for two here like I don't know uh, like more first mort I was like yeah this is how you build mort and then they were like oh yeah that is how you build mort let's do that for you. And now you can build them however you want. Um, yeah, so now, you know. <laughs> I just thought that was hilarious. I think she's going to be a lot of fun to use. Like, you remember when, when people were running uh, Gunther? Or Gunther? Because of the memes with uh, Lilius? Well, now you have a real unit who can reach Gunther levels of, like, attack percentage. Or just, a, it's like, flat, like, straight up attack. Uh, that you can run with Lilius and just do like massive damage. You just gotta hit the weak point for massive damage. Uh, let's go look at Gunter. I think Gunter's is fifty percent, right? Is that why? That should be. I should be right. Yeah, increases. Oh no, actually his is higher, right? Because you get uh, why well, it's like seventy-five. So yeah, okay. Well, you're losing twenty-five on the top end, which it's not that big a deal. Um. In any case, like I said, it's not that big a deal, and uh, you. You, you get a useful unit along with it, and you know, you get like 6,000, those of you who saw, I mean, most builds are probably going to be running like 6,000 attack, and you know, which obviously is insane. Um, I'm probably going to be putting off making my Asaria just because I don't have that kind of gear, because the last person, who, like, I've been using that kind of gear on like everyone, like, um, obviously you want high attack on your, uh, like, just flat attack stats on your uh, uh, Carrot, uh, ML Kawazu, uh, so after like all that stuff is said and done, I, I gotta figure out what to do about uh, getting gear for Isaria, making her fast enough. Um, I don't think I have a lot of gear with no crit stats. Uh, on on a separate note, I guess as a closing note, um, if you want to make a specialty change for Gunther, all you have to do is this right here: 100% um, crit resistance. 
right? And then he basically has to fight everyone one on one without crit. And since he is, you know, since he has no crit, basic since he, since he never has crit, he's obviously going to win that. So I don't know. Is, is that going to make him broken? Probably not. But you know, that's that's a that'll be a fun specialty change, I think, to to see the first unit who can get crit. He basically brings you down to his level and then beats you up because he's an expert at <laughs> that low level. Um, I think uh, the next video I'm probably going to do is probably just like some PvP stuff because I've been I've been uh, wanting to grind more uh, RTA. But as we can see here, <laughs> I'm not I'm not too ashamed to 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 show you guys that I'm still in silver. Um, yeah, I don't know. This grind has been kind of annoying. Uh, you know, I say grind, but I've only got like what twenty. Uh, what 30 31 matches yeah i only got 31 matches in so um i feel like by now i should have been, it just feels it feels like a long ass grind like i said i've only been 31 matches in and i feel like i'm not moving anywhere and i'm still in silver so i don't know whatever um so yeah like i said i'll probably do some more pve we can we'll, we'll showcase me grinding all the way up to champion um champions about where i uh, is about my um my upper limit uh I can't really compete with the legend guys uh for one just i don't have the speed gear i don't have anyone who can contest speed Everything I have is like turn two teams, uh, and turn two team turn two teams can often are often just shut down by stuff easily. As much as you want to be like tanky and like, oh, these guys are all gonna survive. Uh, in Legend, they're not because they just hit too hard. Um, but yeah, so like I said, I've been trying to end this video three times already, uh, and for real, I'm gonna end it now. Um, like I said, if, if you want, if you like RTA, look forward to that, and um, good luck summoning an ice area.